Pants. What's up, guys? I'm here with Brian Fullerton for Brian's Lawn Maintenance What's on up, YouTube. Guys? How we doing? Man, we're here on your side of town. <laughs> look at how beautiful the day is, man. Like, for real, look at the sky. Like, when's the last time you've seen a beautiful Michigan day? Like, this is one of the first two 60 degree days we've had <sighs> this whole season. And by the way, we've only been working for like two weeks because, well, anyway, it's a whole other story for a whole other <laughs> time. We've been shut down, but now we're opened up, making money. We're in week two or week three? I don't know, it's been a blur. This is like week three. Yeah, it's I, nice out. My brain has been fried, dude. We did like 43 <laughs> yards of mulch last Saturday, but trailer tour, you wanna see it? Bro, we're gonna do a trailer tour. Brian's setup right now, 2020. Let's go. Fun house tagged it. King of the palace. Rubber like Malcolm. Ball up fist in the air to the flash lit. Yeah. Hands up, hands up in the air that they gun me down. I keep it a hundred, they crunching the numbers, I'm getting out. Young hitter got a fetish for success if I ain't next and I just leave him pressure. Next to rain on the window pane, puff it plain Jane. Alright, now here's what I will say. This trailer rig and setup, we absolutely did not start this way. <laughs> okay, I got started uh, 14 years ago with a Dodge Durango, a 5x8 utility trailer from Tractor Supply, and a Viking 48 inch X Mark walk behind, okay? This rig right here is like a hundred grand. I'm not bragging, trust me. I was always like, look at that big old rich guy going down the road. Okay, 14 years later, there's a story in between there, but uh, really, really thankful, really, really blessed with what we got. So thumbs up if you guys love this whole setup and the video and just show me some love, show me some feedback here, but let's take you through, man. Um, we just got done mowing, so sorry if things are a little dirty. Uh, so this whole trailer, eight and a half by 16 sure track trailer, my dream was to have an enclosed trailer because I had utility trailers for like a decade and bringing equipment in every night, uh, things get rained on, color fade, weather fade. It just kind of stunk to be honest with you. So three years ago, I think it is, we got this red sure track. It's an eight and a half by 16. It was like 10 G's, sent me back uh, big time, but you know what? It was something I had to do. For the trailer? For the trailer, it was 10 Wait, grand. Wait, this trailer was 10 grand for the trailer? I know, right? Well, I was just, I, I wanted to take my branding and my biz, uh, business's image to the next level. And so, yeah, I wanted to throw down for like all the nicest stuff and kind of rebrand myself from like that, that neighborhood like lawn care kid, you know, uh, when I was like 19, 20 to, hey, we're a professional company, professional services. Keep going, you wanna jump over here? Yeah. Yeah, just be careful because your paint can snag and almost anything, you know. All right, so in the meat of it, normally we can carry two pieces of equipment. We're in aeration system, uh, season for us. We do quite a few aerations, like a couple hundred throughout the season. Well, about a hundred throughout the season. Uh, we just got done doing spring aerations. I'm keeping it with me in case we uh, pick up anything on the fly. But we got the uh, stand-on aerator, a Starus 60-inch, the Laser Z X Mark, um, big X Mark guy. We got our dealer wine guards here in Michigan. Cabinets for all of our oils, all of our supplies, anything that you guys need, we have it with us. Pruning helmet, gloves for herbicide and Roundup. Everything's a mess. We're, we're running hot. Uh, we got coats, jackets, chainsaws, all of our hand tools that we grab on the fly, like pox locks, blades. You never know when you build. These are good locks, bro. I got a few of these. I got the blue ones. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Nothing. You're yeah, you can't you, you can't it. break it you're they're, they're you expensive it. and you'll find out why once you get it because you, you look at this. yeah that, that thing is yeah everything in here we quick grab i mean it's like we we run hot it's like for example of course like today we're supposed to be done by about 2 30. i had the the backpack blowers break the mower deck uh serpentine uh, deck belt broke but i have everything with me we have one of everything in here uh a spare so it's always uh, I, like I said, it's a, a pretty expensive rig going down the road, but at least we can stay out there mowing all day. We don't have to go to the dealer, go back to the shop, go back to my storage unit, so on and so forth. Um, we got shirt can, gas cans. Keith, I don't know if you ever see this on the roof. We got all the rakes on the roof. I was looking at that. A lot of guys That's love dope. this. These little uh, hooks, you can get them at Home Depot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are dope. They're like five bucks. Uh, check out the Dude. specialty oh, screw aisle. I got to get some of those. I know. I mean, it's so simple. I was so tired of having so much stuff on the floor with my old utility trailer. We'd ramp the mower up and I'd like crush the backpack blower. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are there or you've been there, I feel you, man. We've, uh, we've all been there. And the goal is to not be there forever, right? Backpack blowers on the, the wall. We use a lot of Red Max. I got the hedge trimmers from Echo, the hedge trimmers from Steel. Now, I will say, uh, doing YouTube, we've had some stuff sent to us over the last few years, but the majority of everything you see uh, has come out of my pocket. Now, lately, we're getting hicked, uh, hooked up with a couple different things, which is really cool, but I'm telling you what, it's funny. Like, I had no money. 
I, I hustled forever. Then once we didn't need it, everybody started sending us some free stuff. And I'm like, where were you guys five years ago when I was literally poor and broke? You know how that goes, Keith. So, yeah. <laughs> um, over here we've got all of our X Mark racks. Uh, right over here we got all of our uh, equipment defender racks, Echo trimmers, Red Max uh, edgers, Echo edgers. Um, I'm not super brand loyal on any one thing. It's just uh, I found a lot of success with Echo Red Max. Um, you'll see a lot of steel for their uh, combi system and their pull pruner. We got that down oh, here. Oh, sweet. You got it down there, too. Yeah, we got racks everywhere. Uh, mower nice. jacks. It's organized. I know. We got mower jacks, grease guns. You guys name it. So do these these lock right onto the trimmers and stay on? Yep, with those little aluminum uh, blocks on the uh, shaft right by the engine mount. Oh, that's dope. So you have to get... You have to make little micro adjustments yes. to get it all into place. Yeah, to set up the racks, I'll be honest, it's a couple hours to put up any of these racks. However, once they're on, they're on. Um, but they're really secure and you can lock your stuff. And that way you don't have to dis, uh, uh, hook or take everything off your trailer every night and put it in your shed and load it and unload it and reload it. And God, I hate all that stuff. Huh. Uh, what else we got? You want to see the outside of the yeah. trailer, trailer wrap? All yeah, right. dude, let's see the outside. All right. All right, real quick, wait, the sure can. I saw you posted this on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about it being on the bottom? Well, two things. One, it's it's it just it's logical. I mean, anytime we're filling up our equipment, we used to like turn it all over and things would spill out everywhere. So having a gravity fed spout on the bottom. And plus, let's say you have a well that's scripted. That's unscripted. <laughs> So oh, there's some gas sitting in there. Apparently there's some, well, everything's filled up with gas. That's funny right there. Um, that's how you know none of this stuff is scripted, right? So if you have a utility trailer though, you don't have to take anything off. Like you can keep this locked down, right? And on your utility trailer, you can just fill up your equipment as you go. You don't even have to take the gas can off. <gasps> I don't know. I know it's simple, but quick release. Bow. I like it. Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. I just had another crazy weird idea. What's that? They could invent something so like you have a gas can, a flap lid, just like your truck on the outside of the trailer, and then it just feeds into tubes and then refills it all. So you don't have to take it out to even. So there's like snowmobile trailers have a- uh, Oh, they do? Like a door? Yeah, snowmobile trailers have a door. I've told that's the sure track, uh, that if they would just cut it out on the left side, because left side is where you fill up your mowers yeah. and your truck, right? So you're always on the left you side of the fill pump. everything up without taking it out. I know. Come on, help me out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. All right, so one thing guys always ask, why did we go with the eight and a half by 16 and not the seven by 14 or something like that? Well, eight and a half is super wide and it allows you some walking room in there. You guys just saw we could walk on both sides or if I put the mower all the way to the left, we can walk foot and a half on the right. So when you have all this equipment in there and ladders and blowers, when you seven by 14, you're kind of like trapped in there like sardines. Now here's the, here's the caveat. A seven by 14 is five grand for a trailer, right? This one's 10. So it is what it is. If you want to go big, awesome. I just, I was tired of being cooped up. So I just want a little bit more space. Um, the reason we have an eight by half by 16 is that be, between the truck and the trailer, this whole rig is, you know, 35 feet long. I don't know. And Keith, if you want to pan right here, we got our subdivisions that we're at. Um, this boulevard, I can park this rig at this strip of boulevard, but once you have a 20 foot, 24 foot trailer, I can't park it, but on so many spots in these residential subdivisions I'm in. So I want it short, compact, something simple. Eight and a half by 16 was a good fit for us. Mm. Um, a lot of color options, but I wanted red to go with my old red truck and then red to go with the new red truck. We got the vinyl on the side. This is about two G's. We had a local print shop do it. it. Took about three or four days for them to sticker it all up and do the whole deal. But, um, and then as we go, I'll wrap up with the truck. 2017 F-250, <laughs> we've only got about 29,000 miles on it. I drive like eight, 9,000 miles a year. It's insane. Most people hate me <laughs> because of that, like the route density thing. I'm in six subdivisions right now on four different days total so that's our whole route we're in a half mile radius here in wixa michigan uh love the truck super duty uh the Luma duty it's been just amazing i i dreamed of a truck like this I'm, i saved 20 grand over like two years um it was a huge stretch for my wife and i liz um we're just like you guys we're just small business owners we don't we haven't arrived or anything like that um but the guy most guys that do what we do we always dream of like the the work truck right the dream truck and for me it was a 2017 uh and above super duty the Luma duty um 
Over the years, we have upgraded to the dump insert. This is the Byers steel dump insert, six and a half. Uh, it's been a game changer for us for our leaf cleanups. Yeah. That was always a bottleneck for me. Like, how do I do the work and transport all the, the, the clippings or the, the pruning clippings or the leaves, right, for, for spring and fall cleanups? Well, I didn't want to buy a $65,000 dump truck because I live at apartments. Uh, I'm a big apartment guy. And you can't have like these 450, you know, dump trucks at apartments. But this, with the dump insert, nobody bats an eye, right? So that was kind of my, my idea. But Keith, if you want to jump up in here, this is, this is what we got going on. So this whole dump insert, I mean, I could put almost anything in here. We've got the remote. Oh, it's not hooked up, it's down there. We got the remote in there. Here, you can grab that if you want. Oh, it's down and they're a little bit on the face. Can you reach? Ah, what's your tippy toes? Mm. Ah, ah, I got arm it. cramp. You can't get it. <laughs> Wait, I can get it. Oh, I literally just. My bad, bro. I thought it'd be fun hey, to show. Take this. All right. It's down in the little crevice here. I got to get the little magnet holder for this guy, you know? So here's what we got. Get a little dump insert, goes up, goes down. If you've seen one dump, you've seen them all, but I love it. And then, like, this is real time, so this is what I was talking about earlier. We had our belt break that cost me about 40 minutes to go to my house and back. I had all my uh, bulk tool order, uh, supply order, uh, at the beginning of the season. I had my extra belt, but of course, I didn't put the box back in the truck. So we had to go to my house and get the whole uh, deck belt and that cost us about a half hour. So real life, right? Uh, we got the shirt can, gas can full of water because of all the COVID pandemic. Uh, we got to wash our hands. So anytime we need to go out to eat, boom, we'll grab firehouse sub, use some water, wash off our hands, try to be safe, try to be clean, try to be healthy. You guys know how it goes. Um, what else you want to see, man? I think that's pretty much it for the truck. Besides the dump insert, the only upgrade we made on the truck was the snow tires. So we threw down for some, uh, what do we got? Nito, uh, Ridge Grapplers. These are about 1500 bucks out the door for a set of four. Beefy, chunky tire tread. I mean, you could, half my finger fits in there. Half inch deep tread, great in the snow. We were able to plow in two by four basically the whole time. I don't have the Boss plow hooked up and uh, you know all that mess, but uh, we got a Boss DXT plow. Basically like the nicest of everything. I've just been reinvesting into my business for a decade, uh, 14 years now. And this is where you can get, I think watching Keith's videos, maybe my videos, but mostly Keith's videos, I think you can get here in three or four years done right and definitely chisel out a six figure uh, grossing business. You can net pretty healthy on that too. So it's my 2020 setup brother. Hey, wait a second. I want to cut. You want to cut some grass, son? How we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Keith Kelfus. Oh, the... What's up? You're cutting grass today, bro. Six feet. Six feet, everybody. Oh, dude, wait. What are we doing? Fine, I can't understand the pressure. Next to rain on the window pane, put the plain Jane. Let him...